in 2012, the federal government crippled environmental protections for our land, air, and water. Those changes made it easier than ever to rubber stamp major projects like pipelines, nuclear facilities, and dams. But Canadians weren't fooled by a process that brushed aside their concerns about their health and the environment. Now we have a chance to fix this. For more than two years, Canadians, including Indigenous peoples, scientists, and resource companies, have worked hard to help shape new laws. Laws that work better for climate, nature, and communities. Bill C-69 helps make decisions based on science, not politics. It reforms the National Energy Board, whose dubious dealings have dismayed Canadians for decades. And it provides more protections for waterways. Bill C-69 isn't perfect, but it's a law that industry groups, environmentalists, scientists, and citizens from across the country agree is a radical improvement on the broken laws passed in 2012. Canada needs this bill. Without it, there's no way to make sure that large-scale environmentally sensitive projects like dams, mines, and pipelines are developed responsibly. Bill C-69 takes the health of Canadians, our land, and future generations into account. And it moves important environmental decisions out from behind closed doors and into the light. Bill C-69 made it through the House of Commons and is now before the Senate. But the Senate is stalling because the oil industry is spreading misleading information. Partisan politics threaten to derail Bill C-69 and maybe even kill it. Despite years of consultation, the Senate has scheduled their own last-minute cross-country listening tour that threatens the bill. Will they stack these meetings with companies and pro-industry spokespeople? Will they ignore Canadians who are worried about climate action and a healthy environment? It's very possible that the unelected Senate will gut the bill that Canadians helped create or delay it into oblivion. That could leave us with broken laws that are no good for anyone. Now's our chance to stand up for democracy and demand better laws that protect our land, air, and water.